on Facebook ads and look at that I mean if I look at this I have on this one here I've got 52,000 views for 40 <laughs>
that's basically how you, how you start okay let's get started so first if we go back to the audience or not the audience to the um, you know ad management so you go to ads manager facebook.com and then you can set up an account and everything else you got to give your credit card put it in place there and all that good stuff once you're all set you would go into well let's create an, an ad right now so right if I want to create a uh, let's say an engagement ad which is what it what you do for video views right you see that whoops see down here whoops I guess it doesn't so video views whoops video views post engagement conversation conversions calls that kind of stuff so that's engagement ads all right so then you can just click on next whatever but I like to give names to my stuff so I'm going to put in here I'm going to give it a name so that I know when I look through my list what it's about so I'm going to say uh what's the first video I want to use I set up a few videos the other day as reels and I'm trying to remember well actually let me go back to my let's go to my page here right and let's go look at the videos that are there if I go to my reels oops where do you see the reels on this on this view <laughs> mentions review all photos videos this is weird I thought there was a reels thing right here inside of your I guess I maybe I have to be the I have to switch over to the to this user so let's go switch over to the user for this page this page user right and let's see if I go mention reviews followers more huh so you don't even have reels here I guess you have it on your phone okay anyways it'll be under videos I imagine um but let's see if I can just see if I scroll down here yeah there you go there's one right here so this is a reels that I did what if you're what if you've been doing it backwards right so let's let's use the and I did another one right here uh the other one are you do, oh okay let's start with the first one here the are you doing it backwards so I'm going to create an ad for this video here so what we do here I'm just going to call it uh backwards backwards one let's just call it backward oh backward ones so we're just going to call it like this I'm just going to give the same name for the ad and for the ad set in in Facebook you got ads ad sets and campaigns and you can do all sorts of different things but I kind of usually just create one for one it's easier so I'm going to click on continue and I you know you can use recommended settings but for this I want to set it up myself right and that's something that you might want to not do the first time but I'm just going to do manual because I want to show you all of the settings right so the first thing you need to do is you need to decide uh your uh, budget right your budget I'm just going to put a dollar fifty a day which is fine a Canadian is like you know less than a it's around close to a dollar US right a dollar thirty I think is so you you can that's the lowest you can do is a dollar a day right and then what I'm going to do is I actually want to set the oh yeah right this is just the budget so I can do you can do budget scheduling all sorts of different things I'm just going to click on the next right here I think my video is in the way isn't it yeah you can't see that so let's put it down here okay so there's a next button down here right so you just click on that and then it takes you to the ad set ad set so then what I want what do I want messaging apps I do I want on my ad do I want calls or I want websites so people to engage your brand whatsapp or messenger on your ad people watch a video so we want this right on your ad people to watch a video right I want more people to watch the video right so then what I do is then it says video views maximum through play I mean you can you have different options here but this is all I want I got a budget that's already set and then the audience so now Facebook is changing stuff all the time and this has been a while since I created an ad through this process and it automatically does this advantage audience thing where they magically figure out who to po post your ad to I I don't want that I want to decide who I'm going to show this ad to right so I can't use this so I got to go to switch to original audience option and then I just say use original audience of course they're going to say oh my god they're going to be more expensive whatever but at least I'm in control of who sees my ads maybe 
it would be good to use this thing I'll try it later but for now I want to set it up myself so then what I do is I can use a saved audience I got a whole bunch of audiences that I created in the past but I'm just going to create a new one and I'm just going to say uh first of all location so for me I am I'm in U.S. Uh, or English speaking so I use Canada I use United you just add the countries here right United whoops United United Kingdoms right here then there is United States United States United States I think you have to type the whole thing otherwise it thinks it's a United States there we go United States country region right <clears throat> and then I also use Australia and I use New, Ze New Zealand New Zealand so now those are the five the five you know tier, they call them the tier one English speaking countries so obviously you could you put other countries New Zealand you could put like Ireland or you could put other countries that speak English right uh if you're doing English content obviously whatever your language is so for the age I usually do edit it a little bit so that I don't get too you know I don't get people that are as young um as just but that's really up to you right and also less not as old maybe a, you know I'm close to 60 so I'll put 60 um but then genders also you can change that to just women or just men and then in and then this is where it gets interesting well let's do the languages first let's put English <coughs> and I'll just say English oh. all right so then where it gets interesting is the detailed targeting this is where you're going to say people who you know like tennis or who want to lose weight or people who are interested in network marketing or people who read books or things like that so in here you just click on edit and I'm just going to say uh network marketing marketing right so then I can go in here employers job title social media marketing interest right you can see the number that's going right there right 49,000 6,000 and then this one is 355 million right so obviously I'm going to want this well not obviously but I'm just saying I'm picking that because I'm looking for network marketing people are interested in network marketing then I then I can add more here the problem with doing that is it's going to give you anybody in one or the other right it kind of like if you were to put in there say for example weight loss well you're going to get people that are interested in weight loss and people that are or people that are interested in network marketing so you might have somebody who's interested in network marketing but not interested in weight loss you might have somebody who's interested in weight loss but not in network marketing if you want somebody who's interested in network marketing and weight loss you got to go down here to narrow audience so under here which is what I always do I want to narrow it down to somebody who's who who likes all these things that I want to include right so I'm going to put in here for example um I don't know I, I there used to be a Tony Robbins but that's gone so, but there is this um Sarah Robbins here which has 164,000 which is probably not enough I really want probably in the million range so let's say Facebook another good one is Facebook page admins now that's not as good as it used to be <clears throat> but I'm going to put the new page admins and there's business page admins which <coughs> there are also people admin of business page I don't know what's the difference but you can also go into like say health and beauty for example right if I was interested in attracting people who are into health and beauty or into you know that kind of stuff I could use that um food and restaurant and then there's all these Facebook access things <clears throat> but that's because I took I I pay I typed in Facebook page ad right so uh, let's say I'm interested in people who are let's put health and beauty right why not right so then that means it turns it down to about 230,000 which is great so that'll give me people interested in in social media marketing and interested in health and beauty or people who have pages about health and beauty so there we go so now you can also click on this reach more people beyond it'll do stuff but I'm just going to do this like this I'm going to save this I'm going to say health and beauty 
marketing well let's just say health and beauty t5 which is the top five countries right the, the Australia Canada I'm just gonna save like this so that'll give me a, an audience that I'm I can reuse for other videos to use the same audience so now I'm just click on next right here and then the last page which is the actual ad is where you choose the vid video so I'm gonna just say use an exi existing post you can create a brand new ad if you want here instead of using a post but I'm going to use an existing post and I'm going to change the post to the video do we have the video the reel it looks like the reels aren't there I wonder why maybe I have to go to Instagram to see the reels so these are the videos I posted this morning the reels aren't there either okay so let's go back to Facebook I can see published posts and I can say available posts only so let's see what happens looks like video video I don't know I guess the reels aren't something that I can use so I can probably uh I can probably choose to upload let's cancel this and um I'm just gonna well this is going to be the ad here I don't want that so let me go back to my Facebook page here I thought you could do ads on reels but I guess you can't do ads with reels because they have oh I know why they have music in them they don't want you to do ads with music in them I think that's kind of so so weird right but I guess there's a copyright thing where they would have to pay the authors uh for any income they're making using your videos with music so I gotta re-upload these without music so let me just pause this I'll do that right now all right so I got those uploaded now if I click on change post now we're going to see these two new videos so I'm going to use this one here <coughs> and we're just going to select it and continue and now the video is there and it's going to you know go to feeds and everything else right so I can just add here if I want to save the video that's fine I could probably edit the captions because it'll probably butcher my name and stuff but that's not that's fine I'm going to click add a button here and I'm going to say active group users.com which will be the domain and I should be what should I be putting this is what this talks about right it talks about active groups so I'm just do that like that and as you can see now it adds the button and I'm going to click on publish so now I have a one ad for this video well I mean it's not necessarily approved yet but it'll be a you know if everything's good it'll be approved and it'll start to uh to build my audience so now what I want is I want to create an audience a custom audience for this and other videos that I'm going to be posting <coughs> so let's just go to the uh, all tools right here and you go to audiences right so I have a whole bunch of audiences in here but we're going to create a brand new one so you can see how the process works and actually I need to create a new one anyways because this is going to be an audience specifically for these videos that have to do with the reverse social prospecting so I'm going to you see the health and beauty that I just created now but now what I want to do is a custom audience so a custom audience is an audience that is going to be well it says right there right you can create an audience from your customer contacts website traffic or mobile app also with your video view so we're just going to click on custom audience we're going to say I want video sources right then I click on next it's going to tell me what do I want to create people who viewed at least three seconds 10 seconds 25 percent 75 whatever you just for this you just want the three second views okay so then you retention you can leave it at that but you could you could reduce it if you wanted I'm going to call it um uh, back so reverse uh social prospecting formula short viewers viewers all right so this will be the shorts now I choose videos right here and I'm going to choose the if I go to my Facebook page I got to go to the proper page I think it's under my personal is it no it's under my my other one <coughs> over here this page here 
and I have these two videos that I just posted just now and I could include I can actually include the viewers of these but they the, those are the ones that I published with music on them that I can't use for ads so it doesn't really matter but I'm gonna I'm still gonna include these even though there's just really a few views on them right because Facebook won't let me do ads on them right and I can see if I have any other videos that really relate to this topic um AGU this might be learn about AGU what is this one learn about this looks like another one see 947 views that's pretty good so I could probably use this video too even though it's <coughs> yeah as long as it's it's the same topic because what we want we want to build an audience of people who've seen a few seconds of a video that's related to what you're trying to build right so I'm not going to worry about any of the other ones I'm just going to say confirm right here and that'll start well not yet then I can say this description let's create the audience and just done then they talk about the, the you know do an ad right now whatever I don't want to do that just yet <clears throat> so at this point I'm letting it build the audience which won't have too many people in it but once the ad is approved of the video right here right then it'll be like all these people that see it so I'm going to share this to my to my personal page oh I guess I, I have to be myself first so let's go back to my regular my personal profile and then let's see let's go to my page again right here and let's look at the so these are here now and I can just share that to my main page let's just whoops kind of like this and I'm going to share it to just share now and I'm going to like this one too and you see this one how, how it's got to learn more right here right then this one doesn't yet because I didn't do an add on it yet now I could I could edit it and add a button but uh, but for learn more uh, links I think you have to go through ads I'm not sure if you can do it any other way but I've always done it just through, through ads like this so I can share this as well and there you go share both these and uh and I can you know and the idea here is that I would have maybe four or five videos that I'm doing this with and then what you do is you create an ad like let's say we create what how much time are we in here we're at 22 minutes okay so let's create another ad let's go back to the tools all tools right here go back to ads manager and let's just create another ad exactly the same as the one we just did but with the second video well actually well, I don't know if I can do it yet because the other audience doesn't have much in it um but let's create a backwards number two which will be video views as well uh, engagement can, oh no oh no I clicked the continue I want to go back here I want to give them a name so this will be backwards backwards two uh actually I should call this backwards two uh initial views okay because I want this to differentiate from an ad that I'm going to do afterwards which will be based on the views of the first video which well I could include the views of this one but that's beside the point Facebook uh, has a way to try to show this the things to people who haven't seen it first that it's its first goal right so let's just do manual again and now in this case you're going to see well you're going to see that the audience is already there I can choose the audience I want uh, that I used earlier it'll be the same audience uh but first I gotta set the budget a dollar fifty a day and next and then I choose the audience so on your ad again I want to get people to watch videos right and then I want to have my audience right down here as you can see it says advantage audience that's automatically what it is I'm going to say use original and then I go down here and I use a saved audience and the one we just created on it doesn't show I don't know what, how it decides what to show here but 
uh, we called it health and beauty right so let's do that here and and that's it that's all you got to do here then you click on next and now we want to use the second video right so again instead of create ad we come in here and we change it to use existing post and it defaults to whatever the last post I did so I'm just going to change the post to the second one this one right here continue and then down below I want to add the um where is it add button right here and I want to say uh active group users.com and there we go so that's basically talking about my software right so we're getting people to like this is to get people to watch this video it's not about them clicking the link but I need that link to be there for the other ads because when you do an ad using the same video to a different audience you can't go change anything anymore on it like you can't change the link or anything like that so I'm just gonna click on publish and there we go so now obviously until it gets approved now it's published so now we have these two ads and if I just take this out of here go back to here I've got my backwards one. Oh, my backwards two is not there it says in review these are two that I just did right now right so I already have 10 three second views 20 22 seconds this is just like a maybe not even half an hour ago that they were approved that I put these in place and it says I got and this one was oh that's interesting why is this reach I guess I didn't create them the same I thought they were both gonna use but there this is using reach versus this one's using link clicks so I got one link click on this one all right anyway so that's so okay so now you got your ads that are going to be uh starting to build your audience so then what you do is you create another ad <coughs> again it could be traffic could be an, let's do an engagement again and I'm going to click on and this is where you do the retargeting all right again manual <coughs> sorry and we're going to call this uh backwards one oh I forgot the names well I guess I can do that here I can come in here and say backwards one uh retarget okay I'm just going to give it the same name on all of these I can you can just click right here to go quickly without finishing the setup so I'm just going to give them the same name on all of these and then I'll just go back to here okay so now we do the same thing up in the um, um, the campaign uh, we come up here and we give it a dollar figure a dollar fifty now of course like you can spend more it's up to you how you set this up but if you're going to be setting like you know five or six videos you want to spend a little per video you don't want to you know you can't uh, but again it's based on your budget right so I'm just going to click on next and again on your ad because this is still going to be video views and then uh, video views yeah perfect and then we come down here the audience I want again the original audience options and in this case I'm going to use a custom audience so I don't know I think I have to put all right that's what I got to do in here I got to say backwards or reverse reverse social prospecting short viewers so it says it's less than a thousand oops why did that not take reverse and this is another thing I think Facebook changed recently is that you can't even do ads oh I already have it there okay it's right here it might not let me do an ad if there's less than a certain number of uh, people in the audience uh, but it has a reach people beyond I don't want to do that because I just want to advertise to the people who've seen my videos before I don't want Facebook to decide so that also means I don't want any of this here I'm gonna delete I don't know if I can I remove Canada because I want anybody in the audience I don't care they they should be you know they should be in here so the same thing with the age 
I don't want any age I guess this doesn't matter because this will be and then genders everything else won't matter because they're people that are in the audience now I want you can say world world wide right here which will be they don't have the worldwide region anymore another another thing they did worldwide include world wide they used to have a worldwide region I don't know why they got rid of it but maybe they maybe I need to do something different but the, you you used to be able to type that anyways if I don't have any location it it'll include everybody all right so and there we go and then next is the actual ad right again the same thing I want to go in here and say use existing post and I want to I can use the same post but I want to actually use the first one right which is this one and it's already got the button and everything else and I track event data set and versions your ad might it's, I don't know what this does <laughs> see I don't know everything there's about Facebook ads it's totally insane how much stuff you can do this probably is is something I should learn about but I it's new they didn't have this this way before <coughs> you used to put a, a pixel right so let's <coughs> oh yeah so there you go so you actually have to why wouldn't I want to <coughs> I can just track website events I don't need a, I don't need the rest and then I click on publish so now I have three ads set up right two of them to just the uh, health and beauty uh, Facebook page owners right that are interested in network marketing and one to the retargeting group so now what's going to happen if I close this let's just cancel that close these things so I can see the whole list so now I have backward one is in review this is processing this is processing and let's do a refresh here so this is already approved look at that these are already approved and that's only because I've done lots of ads and you know the the, the robots that do the automatic approval uh probably go by my background right by my history of ads um but they're already active so within a few minutes we should start to see some numbers I don't know how many can we see any uh there's no through I don't know how long it takes for through place to actually show up in the list here but as you can see right here we have 37 cents that's actually pretty good 37 cents for one link oh well that's only because there's only one link click so you know the first one <laughs> so if if there's no more link clicks until the until tomorrow it'll be the cost of the day which is a dollar fifty <coughs> for that one click uh, but this one has 150 impressions 133 reach 83 cents per 1000 people reached oh okay so I'm not really sure what I did with this I thought I actually set these up for traffic for link clicks <coughs> for video not for video views but anyways you can see these ones are here and that's basically how you set up retargeting by creating you know let's go back to this document right here so basically you go you create your ads for your initial video views you create an audience from those video views and then you create ads using the custom audience which is basically the list of people who viewed your first videos that's retargeting and that's how you get super super low cost per views and it's too bad that it takes a, a while there to sh to get to the point but uh, it'd be cool if I could show you you know what this cost maybe I'll paste it in a blog post because normally I record this almost a week before I do the blog post so we'll be able to get these numbers and I'll show you in the blog post what the numbers ended up being for these three videos all right we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Ooh. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.